they had junk everywhere. We had 21 months. We now have five. We had 26 bowls, 10 mixing bowls. Is there ever a point in your life where you're like, hmm, I really want to make 10 batches of different things and I'm going to need 10 mixing bowls. I had over a dozen cookbooks. We had a, more than a dozen wine glasses. No. We just had an excess of things. And then we had a bunch of extra stuff that we never ever used. I mean, it has been sitting in kitchen overflow in our basement for two years. No, 22 months. Let's not exaggerate, 22 months. And then we had a bunch of kitchen stuff delivered from storage and we had a bunch of kitchen stuff in our crawl space. And then of course, all the stuff in our kitchen. My, my name is Erica, welcome to my channel. I am a hoarder. Well, I was a hoarder about certain things. I'm a striving minimalist. Um, this is the fourth video in the series of a journey to minimalism. I'll put a link for the other three videos above my head here. So in this video, you are gonna see the six steps that I took to declutter our kitchen. I followed Joshua Becker's recommendation. Joshua Becker wrote The More of Less and The Minimalist Home. Uh, he may have written a few other things. These are the two that I'm reading right now. I also really, really have been enjoying Francine J. She wrote The Miss Minimalist and she wrote The Joy of Less. So these are three books for me right now that I am really, really into and I'm actually reading more than once, taking lots of notes and uh, figuring out what the definition of minimalism means for our family. It does mean something different for each family. Over this last week, my husband and I went through it all and came up with a really small pile for trash and um, a really big pile for donation and uh, figured out what we wanted to keep in the process. Um, so here are the six things that Joshua Becker recommends. One, remove anything that doesn't belong. Two, remove your duplicates and keep your favorites. You have one favorite fork? Five people in this house. Yeah, yet we always need forks. We need five of them. Three, Notice the physical boundaries of your kitchen. This was, we have a small kitchen. Four, identify homes for the remaining items. Where pots and pans are gonna go, where dishes are gonna go. Number five, clear your countertops. Number six, go through your pantry. Go through all your old food, figure out what to keep and what not to keep. My husband was very excited to do this with me. Really? His only request was that we didn't toss anything that we actually use. Fair enough. So I got busy starting with mugs. get started in this clutter hot spot, this corner of the kitchen where it's just a dumping ground of, of things. And then in the cabinet, I have just random stuff. So I'm just going to get rid of it all. I've decided to turn this into a breakfast cabinet. So I'm gonna grab some things out of the pantry and move them over.
did not do Joshua Becker's recommendations in order one through six. I skipped around. So here I am continuing on with clearing the countertop. I use my coffee maker all the time, so I'm gonna leave this on the countertop. I'm also gonna leave a link for this Keurig in the description box below. I'm gonna keep this cookie jar. It is a Ray Dunn cookies jar that I searched for a long time for. Makes me happy, brings me joy. It also brings the dog joy because it has the dog cookies in it. So we're gonna keep it. I'm just gonna find a new home for it. We have three drawers in our kitchen, so I'm now going to clean out the largest drawer and combine everything that was on the countertops as well as the things in that drawer. Next, I'm gonna tackle this cabinet. It is our everyday stuff and it is a mess. Keep it or Goodbye. Not? It's, what do we use it for? I don't remember the recipe. Does it bring you Does joy? Does this bring me joy? <laughs> no, because I can't ever taste it. What's this? Okay, here's one to keep. It's sealed. Okay. Let's donate. You can put it at the top of the stairs. This green bowl was my grandmother's and if she knew that I was hanging on to it as a way to remember her, she would be laughing at me. So I'm ready to let go of this green bowl and donate it with the other bowls that we don't need any longer. the reality of kitchen overflow and just start bringing stuff upstairs. I'm trying to figure out what we want to keep and donate from this section and eventually my husband said donate it all and walked away. <laughs> 
The donate pile was starting to get in the way, so we boxed it up and got it ready. Less really is more I am finding on this journey and I am really starting to enjoy my house. I am really starting to love coming home and having less mess. It's so much easier to clean. It's, it's so much nicer to look at. It's less stressful. There's less anxiety. So um, thank you for being on this journey with me. Thank you for the hundreds of comments and support that everyone has given. It really, really means a lot. And I read them all. I even read the mean ones. And I, I genuinely love the stories that you are sharing with me. So please keep doing that. Uh, if you can, please subscribe if you want to see more. My next videos in this series are going to be um, habits that I've been changing. I've been doing a lot of self-reflection on things that need to change that led to this hoarder situation um, that you've been watching unfold. I'm also going to do a uh, declutter of our seven closets. Ugh, I'm not looking forward to that one. I actually was excited about the kitchen one because it's, you know, central in the home. I'm not excited about decluttering the closets and showing you the things that are in there. But we're gonna do it. This is my friend Colleen from Our Blessed Life. I'm gonna put a link for her channel in an icon above and in the description below. She shares terrific videos for homeschool, mom life, recipes, and she just shared an extreme declutter of one of her closets. Fantastic video. She puts up a lot of great stuff. Please check her out. She's amazing. How to grocery shop as a minimalist. I'm trying to figure out what that means. So I'm going to take you on that journey with me. Um, so hop over to Instagram. If you're on Instagram, visit me over there. Uh, that's how I decided to do kitchen next. I put up a poll to see what would be interesting. And so we did kitchen next. Thank you so much for being on this journey to mem minimalism. I cannot say that word. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, give me a thumbs down. Let me know what you think. I, I want your honest opinions. I gotta go. I gotta go eat tacos. It's my leftover dinner. The end of the day, if you have a bigger family, we have five. The end of the day, you're out of plates and bowls because they're all in the dishwasher. So if you are having some late night tacos, you gotta figure it out. I haven't eaten because I took it out. That for dinner. My husband and the kids. What was I talking about? Tacos. Yes, this is how I make tacos. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I'm going to get a million comments about the wrong way to make tacos.